good morning dear children welcome to the maths class of standard 4 today we are going to study the chapter chapter 8 fractions so in today's session we are going to discuss about equivalent fractions equivalent fractions children look at this given fig picture here you can see some rectangles isn't it all the rectangles are having same size isn't it but the first rectangle is divided into two equal parts and one part is shaded with blue color other part is shaded with yellow color so the fraction for the first rectangle is 1 by 2 or 1 upon 2 isn't it okay now look at the second rectangle the second rectangle is also having the same size and that rectangle is also divided but it is divided into four equal parts okay and two parts are shaded yellow and two parts are shaded blue okay it is same as of the first one isn't it children the upper part of the rectangle is shaded yellow and the lower part is shaded blue so both are same but the fraction for this are different now look at the third one third rectangle is also having the same size and same uh, shape of uh, the first two but it is divided into six equal parts and the first three are shaded with yellow that means it is same as of the 1 by 2 part isn't it yes then look at the fourth one it is divided into eight parts and the four are shaded with yellow then if we are representing uh, the next one as 10 5 upon 10 that is total 10 parts are there from that five here these all are showing that yellow part of the rectangle isn't it these all fractions 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 4 by 8 and 5 by 10 these all are showing the yellow part of the rectangle so these all are same isn't it these all fractions are showing half part of the whole rectangle isn't it children so we can say that the fractions 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 4 by 8 and 5 by 10 are equivalent fractions okay these all are equivalent fractions because these all are showing the same part of the whole same part of the whole so these are equivalent fractions so how we can write the definition of equivalent fractions fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions what is equivalent fraction fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions that means 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 and it is equal to 3 by 6 and it is equal to 4 by 8 and it is equal to 5 by 10 clear children so what is equivalent fraction fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions clear children okay now some textual questions example shade the regions to show equivalent fractions shade the regions to show equivalent fractions so here two rectangles and two circles are given you have to shade to get equivalent fraction so let children the first in the first rectangle we can divide it into 3 and then you can shade one part okay then it is 1 by 3 or 1 upon 3 and the second one also you can divide up to 6 okay you divide up to 6 and then shade two parts look both are showing the same part of the whole isn't it so 1 by 3 and 2 by 6 are equivalent 
okay and if you are taking 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 that also equivalent if you are cutting it into two equal parts and shading one portion and then you are cu cutting it in the second uh, rectangle you are uh, dividing it into four equal parts then you are shading two parts that also showing the equivalence okay so this is the answer now the circles are given to show that you can answer like this look the first circle is divided into four equal parts then one is shaded and the second circle is divided into e eight equal parts and two is shaded look children both shading part shows the same isn't it same part of the whole is shaded there so these two are equivalent clear now some application level questions shade the second figure give a fraction equivalent to the first so in the first picture you can see that it is 2 by 4 isn't it the fraction denoted in the first figure is 2 by 4 because two parts are shaded that you can write in numerator and total number of parts are 4 so that you can write in denominator so 2 by 4 is the fraction for that now look at the second one here this is a figure you have to uh, shade okay according to the first one so uh, to make it same we can understand that if you are taking these two parts in the uh, in together we will get the half of the portion isn't it yes so you can divide half of that second circle then it is same as of the first one right children okay so to denote fraction equivalent to the first shade half of the second figure as shown look so uh, the half of the portion you can shade and then it will be equivalent to the first one so 1 by 2 is equivalent to 2 by 4 that you can understand from this clear children okay now look at the next example question Venu paints four sixth of the cardboard and Raj paints two thirds of a similar size cardboard. Who has painted a larger area? Look, Venu painted four sixth. So it is divided into four. Venu paints four sixth of the cardboard. So it is dividing into six portions and among that four are shaded. Then Raj paints two thirds of the similar sized cardboard. So the same sized cardboard Raj painted two third that is three total three parts among that two portions he shaded. Uh, he painted okay. So this way you can draw the figures for both and then you check children here Venu and Raj both are shaded the same size isn't it the same quantity isn't it. So tell me the Vernu and Raj are painted, sir, painted the equal area on each of the cardboards. So we can understand here 4, 6 and 4 by 6 and 2 by 3 are equivalent fractions. That's why here both are same. Okay. So it is clear that both Venu and Raj have painted an equal area on each of the cardboards. Is it clear children? I hope the concept of equivalent fractions are clear for you. Isn't it? What is equivalent fraction? Equivalent fractions are the fractions which shows the same part of the whole. The fractions which shows the same part of the whole are called the equivalent fractions. Okay. Now we are moving to obtaining equivalent fractions of a given fraction. How to find out a equivalent fractions of a given fraction? It's very simple, children. To get the equivalent fraction of a given fraction, you multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by same number. Okay, multiply or divide. Division also we can use to uh, obtain the equivalent fractions. Okay, multiply or divide numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same number. I will um, explain with an example. Look at the question children. 
find the equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. So to get the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4, you can multiply the number 3 and 4 with the same number. Okay, if I am taking 2, then multiply 3 with 2 and 4 with 2. Then you will get 3 2s are 6 and 4 2s are 8. So 6 by 8 is the new fraction you got. Here, 6 by 8 is an equivalent fraction of 4, 3 by 4. Okay, there is not only one equivalent fraction. We can find out more and more equivalent fractions for a fraction. How? By multiplying or dividing the same number on both numerator and denominator. So, uh, instead of 2, I am using 5 now. So, 3 into 5 by 4 into 5. Okay. The fraction 3 by 5 is multiplied by 5 by 5. So, uh, 3 into 5 is 15. 4 into 5 is 20. So, the new fraction is 15 by 20. This 15 by 20 is also an, an equivalent fraction of 3 by 4. Now, next one. I am multiplying uh, 3 by 4 by 7 by 7 ok so which number you are multiplying in the numerator use the same number in the denominator also ok so 3 into 7 by 4 into 7 3 7s are 21 4 7s are 28 so 21 by 28 is also an equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 the same way you can multiply with uh, 8 by 8 9 by 9 10 by 10 50 by 50 any number you can multiply on numerator and both numerator and denominator to get the equivalent fraction okay children so we can conclude that 6 by 8 15 by 20 21 by 28 24 by 32 these all are a few equivalent fractions of 3 by 4 clear it's very important to find out the equivalent fractions of a given fraction. So, study it well. And don't forget to copy this to your notebook. Now, we are discussing a question from our textbook. Find two fractions equivalent to the given fraction. That is 2 by 11 is the fraction given. You have to find out two equivalent fractions. We know, find out the equivalent fractions you have to multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number isn't it so if i am taking 5 to multiply with 2 then use the same number to multiply on 11 to get the equivalent fraction so after multiplying 5 on 2 you will get 10 5 on 11 you will get 55 so 10 by 55 is an equivalent fraction of 2 by 11 okay now to uh, find out the next one also you can multiply it with 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 which one you want you can multiply on both numerator and denominator then you will get the next equivalent fraction clear children okay so this is the answer for this question now there is one more question is given 33 by 66 Children, if a bigger number is given and if you are thinking that you can divide a, with a common number, then you can divide, you can divide also to get the equivalent fraction. Okay, children? Alright. So, uh, this all for today. Today we learned what is equivalent fraction, what are equivalent fractions and how to find out or how to obtain uh, uh, equivalent fractions for a given fraction isn't it so what are equivalent fractions the fractions which shows the same part of a whole are called the equivalent fractions and to get the equivalent fraction of a given fraction you can multiply or divide both numerator and denominator by the same number okay all right so keep this in your mind and study it all well and do the noteworks thank you